And good morning everyone, just ko lang camera. Welcome to the Daily Grind and today is gonna be a special episode. Of course, andyan pa rin yung ano natin, andyan pa rin yung daily picks natin. But since the market is, uh, what they call this, is already recovering and I want you guys to become rich in the stock market and one surefire way to get rich using the, uh, using the stock market is, of course, Cost averaging and investing long term, de ba? So today with the market, uh, with the market starting to recover, ang ganda na ng mga, um, ganda na ng mga positions ng mga blue chips especially, na tamang magaganda ng companies. What will be? What are my top ten picks that should make you rich five, um, seven, five to seven to ten years from now, right? So of course, yun 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 I'm still. I still have stocks that are that are in for long term, right? Meron pa rin ako cost averaging. Cause whenever I earn something, I save it. And where do I save it? Instead of putting it in the bank, I put it in the blue chips. And so we're gonna be discussing my top ten picks for long term stocks this day, plus the inter ah plus the daily recommendations, of course. And so I'm gonna go to your greetings, Ethel Narciso. Good morning. And Christian. Insights F and I. We're gonna talk about that in a while. Cause there's my F O O C F and I. Yeah. So I sulat ko sa F and I. Okay. F and I. Right. Um. Ethel Narciso S M C. How about S M C? Yeah. And we'll talk about that too. V I Manibo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Chaka. Sa mga traders. Yeah. And good morning, Dan. Bruno Clown. Hello. Salamat pagi Joel. Yeah. And Rico. Velasco, Joy Ann Lesniana, good morning then. Robert Anthony Trebiana, good morning sir. Ask ko lang po. Ah yes. Ah by the way guys, um, cause since this is really for ah, ang episode special episode nito is best for investors. If you can, please, it will help me in return. Please share the videos and yung walls or if you have any groups out there, please share the video. Yung link, I share nyo yung link ng video sa sa walls niyo so that. Other people will know about this, right? Share this opportunity to everyone, right? Robert Anthony Trebiana, Carlos Hino, and tuloy tuloy ka na si SMPH. Yes, we're gonna be talking about SMPH. Good job sa mga pumasok kay SMPH yesterday. Ang laki ng galaw niya kahapon. Malapit na siya sa 38 ngayon. Enjoy your earnings, right? Sa mga sa mga sumusun sumunod sa mga recommendations ko, good job sa inyo. Um, I will be recommending SMPH again after it breaks out the resistance, which is around thirty eight pesos. Um, but then again, SMPH is a solid company. What it will be discussed in my long term picks also. Um, Robert Anthony Tribiana or ISM IRC ANI ECP IRC and dami. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, we're gonna talk about that. Isulat ko lang to lahat. Um, na, yung ibang mga sinulat mo na makakover yan sa mga recommendations ko for today. Um, Belenchita, Katubig, uh, good morning, um, from Germany. Yan. Bloom and ICT. I'm gonna write that down. Bloom and ICT. Yan, ganda ng umaga. Um, sorry. Asan yun? Nawala. 
Alright. Ayan. From Belenchita. Uh, Oliver Reduta. Good morning, sir. Could you... Uh, could could the preferred stocks of now affect the momentum of the stocks? There's a possibility, eh. Wala pa namang full momentum kay now ngayon, eh. Um, yes, umaakit siya. But I don't think it's... A, it's This is gonna be a solid momentum. Right? People are already learning how to handle the third telco stocks. I'm glad hindi lahat excited na. I hope walang naipit kahapon kay STR. Nag-hype si STR saglit. Yan, naka, nakakita tayo ng, ano, ng intraday kay STR. Because of the movements there and then nagbintahan ng mga tao. Ang daming naipit. Right? I hope hindi kayo, isa, hindi kayo naipit kay STR. Right, JMMMS, good morning. Um, Joy Ann Lasniano or BSC House, okay siya kaya. Right, si Or, I've been recommending that two days ago. Right, Sana pumasok kayo noon. Ngayon, napakataas na ni Or. Right? So, okay, well, we're gonna discuss the winners for, for the meantime. Um, uh, sa mga picks natin kahapon, halos ang dami, ang daming mga panalo. Biggest winners were DMC. Right? I hope you went in DMC. Ang ganda ng posisyon nun. Sayang naman. Kung hindi nyo napili si DMC, si Or naman for intraday, di ba? Ang laki. Ang ganda ng uh, laki ng panalo ni Or. Uh, Hopefully, nakasakay kayo doon. Alright? Um, Vita. Yan. Rinakamad natin kahapon. Laki ng panalo ni Vita kahapon. JGS. Sahimik lang si JGS. But, JGS is one of my recommendations. MAH. ba? Dahil sa MA20. Ayan. Si MAH. Andiyan yan. RLC naman. Ayan. Recommended RLC a few ba- days back. Uh, tignan nyo si RLC ngayon. I'm, I'm gonna be recommending RLC again today. Ayan. Kasi isa si RLC, really, RLC, kahit ang ganda ng galaw, ang taas na ng galaw ni RLC after yesterday, di ba, na-discuss natin yan, nag-doji yan kahapon, I'm gonna share my screen. Um, let me pull up Bollinger Bands. Yan. So, yan, RLC, kahit mataas na yung galaw niya kahapon, I'm still gonna be recommending RLC because RLC is one of the uh, underpriced, undervalued ng mga stocks out there. So, even uh, meaning if it's undervalued, malaki yung potential na earning natin. Right? So, RLC, definitely still go for it. Yan. So, yun yung mga naging malaking panalo natin. Um, so, una, mag-recommend muna ako for ano, uh, mga, yung mga daily recommendations natin. I want you guys to watch out for win. Si win for intraday. For intraday, unahin ko ha. There are intraday potentials kay win. Ayan, nag-pullback lang yan. Malapit na siya sa MA20, but if it rallies up already, get in kay win. Um, IRC. Ayan nga pala guys, our charts are powered, is powered by 2Trade Asia. If, uh, if you wanna be able to trade anywhere, anytime, wherever you are, ang ganda ng mobile app ni 2Trade Asia. So, if you're just a casual trader, I will strongly recommend start with 2Trade Asia. Uh, the watch list, uh, the watcher option nila is for free. Ang ganda ng watcher option nila. Definitely use it. Their mobile app is very good. Um, next one is IRC. Yan, si IRC, good for intraday then, right? Intraday potential lang yan, ha? I hope you, uh, intraday and swing trading uh, I know. I hope you know already know the difference between intraday and position trading or swing trading, right? So intraday potentials lang ito. Uh, IRC, I, uh, ISM, and may intraday potential din si ISM. Yan, nag-bounce na siya kahapon. Um, Paxis, yan. I already recommended Paxis um, a while back, right? And then kahapon, nag uh, re-recommend ulit natin for intraday potential. Look at that. Ang ganda na intraday potential, di ba? Sa pinakababa, nag-bounce siya. And then sa ng opening niya, umangat pa nga eh, hanggang 3.91, di ba? Ang ganda ng intraday potential nung Paxis kahapon. May intraday potential ulit siya ngayon. I hope you know how to handle intradays already. Right? If you don't know how to handle intradays chart already, we have an intraday uh, we have an intraday chat room. Alright? Live yung chat room na yan. Whenever I can trade, I send out signals for everyone to buy. Kahapon nakakita yung chat room with STR. Um, if you want to join the chat room, um, download Discord sa mobile nyo or your PC. Pwede naman ang Discord sa PC din. And then, check the description of the video. May sulat dyan Discord group. Inside the app, search for that link. And then, makakapasok kayo sa Discord group natin. Libre lang yan. And everyone there is, uh, it's a very healthy company. I mean, uh, community. Uh, Everyone is helping each other. Um, whenever I can, I also help people. I, sell, I send signals to buy intraday. Right? Um, 
yun, uh, jazz, ano pa ba? Um, Paxis, or, yan, si or, may intraday potential pa rin kay or, I'm thinking about or, baka umabot pa to ng 2 pesos before really stopping that momentum, right? But, I'd rather, for swing traders naman, kasi may resistance na tayo dyan, 1.34. May resistance tayo dyan, so baka bumagsak din. Uh, for swing traders, wait for the pullback na lang. But definitely, there is still, this is a very strong momentum. There is potential intraday uh Uh, intraday potential here uh, potential intraday earnings nga pala um, pag nagtuloy-tuloy yan pwede niyo pasukin pag nag pullback yan or may waterfall yan mga waterfall mga intraday techniques yan kahapon si STR dalawang beses nag uh, nag waterfall yan ah, ilan ba i forgot but then again yan yun yung mga intraday potential yung waterfall or yung bottom niya and then pag nag start ni bottom niya mag, pag may reversal na Yeah, those are intraday potentials. So definitely watch out for or for uh, for intraday potentials. And Paxis, Jazz, BSC. Yeah, si BSC lalagay ka for intraday kasi nag Bollinger Band trigger siya yesterday and it has momentum now, ganda ng volume. So there is intraday potential in it. Uh, if gusto niyo pumasok dito, just intraday po. Alright? Intraday lang ang pwede niyo pasukin dito. Right, kahapon, um, the support was the best entry point for swing trade. Ngayon, ang taas na niya. Look at that. Intraday, nag, uh, nag, umabot siya kahapon sa MA20. That was the bounce point and then nagtuloy-tuloy na. This is why I love MA20. Right? So, that's for BSC. Um, let's talk about ECP. Right, si ECP, nag Bollinger Band Trigger kahapon, umangat si ECP. Di ba? Ang taas ng angat ni ECP. Delikado yung position niya for, in, uh, for swing traders But definitely, may intraday potential dito. Um, yung mga telco players kasi, linalaro ng mga traders. Right? Um, and intraday, you should be a trader you should, if you know how to trade already. This is one of the stocks na pwede nyong pagkakitaan intraday. Right? So, that's ECP. And then lastly, for intraday trading potential na stocks is PPG. PPG. Ayan. So, PPG... Yan. Um, I'm recommending it for intraday. May intraday potential siya kasi ang taas ng galaw niya kahapon. And now, it's already, uh, it's all, it has already triggered the Bollinger Band. Baka magtuloy-tuloy yan. Pwede nyo pasukin yan. Also, the best position para antayin ninyo ito is at MA20. Anytime it it may pull back and then anywhere near MA20, pag nag-start na yan, mag-bounce, pasukin nyo na. Right? There's in good intraday potential kay PPG. Right, so um, those are the intraday, uh, yun yung mga intraday na uh, recommendations ko. For position trading, ang dami, ang daming stocks that are good for position trading. Right, um, ito yung say-sayin ko ha, ang dami eh, FNI. Uh, FNI nga lang, yan, maganda na yung bounce ni FNI, ganda ng first quarter earnings nila. Kaso nga lang may, ano sila, may stock offering. So, I want you guys to be careful with FNI kasi usually pag may stock offerings, um, bumabagsak ang presyo. So, but definitely watch FNI. Uh, if it goes down, wait for it to make a support and then pasukin yung FNI na yan. Maganda si FNI for swing kasi ang gaganda ng, ano, ang gaganda ng earnings nila lately. Right? Um, APX, yan. I'm gonna talk about APX. Apex Mining, we have a support already right here. This is a confirmation of the support. Ang ganda na niyan. Um, APX, that's a very good position for APX. Right? Uh, be sure to check out APX. If you wanna swing trade APX, pwede kayo mag-test by dyan. And then just cut loss below that support. And then maliit lang ang risk nyo. Huwag ninyong i-all in. Right? Um, especially in this kind of market. ASM, uh, no. Um, APX kasi, may ASM nga pala, sorry. Kaya pala, doon nakasulat kayo. APX, ayan, ang ganda na ng position. And then, they're gonna have an ASM. Alright, I'm gonna check out the news. Asan yun? ASM, uh, APX. Alright, tingnan yung news. Um, may APX sila. Uh, may, ano sila eh, may mangyayari na ASM sa kanila eh. So, usually, that that's a good, uh, ang results nila, I think the results will be good. Right? If the results will be good, this is already in a good position. I think APX is gonna be a very good company to start swinging with. And that's a very good position right there. Um, MRC. Talk about MRC. 
Pag-usapan natin si MRC. And MRC, ang daming nag-aabang yesterday was the bounce that we were looking for. And nag-bounce na si MRC plus it's an engulfing candlestick. Right, this is a good position kay MRC. Pwede na kayong mag-start mag-test by kay MRC. Uh, Meg, MEG. Yan, ito yung mga recommendations ko ha. Mga top na rep recommendations ko. APX, um, MRC, Meg, tsaka si RLC. Yan, RLC, I mean si Meg right here. Already has a bounce right here. This is a solid bounce kay, kay Meg. Right? So I think Meg, kasi andito na tayo sa support area. I think Meg is gonna go up again. Tapos na yung downtrend ni Meg na yan. So, most probably it is. We are already at support area. If it goes down, meron naman tayong support area. You can try to bargain for a bit more just to make sure that you go nearer this support area right here. This is the support area. Let me just edit that. And kapalan ko yung linya para maklaro ninyo. Alright, so this is the support area already right here. And then Meg has already stopped its downtrend Right here, we it bounced here and then nago hold na yung support na yan. So buy as long as this support holds. And we have a secondary support right here. So ang ganda, lilit na ng risk kay Meg. Right? So Meg is time to start with Meg. RLC naman, yan, may bounce tayo. We discussed about RLC yesterday, may doji tayo. And then after that, look at that, umakyat na. Um, it started, it opened here, bumaba, and then that doji area was the bounce area. And then ang ganda na ni RLC. This is the bounce that we're looking for. RLC is still very undervalued. This is your opportunity para makahabol kay RLC. Good job ko hindi na kayo humabol dyan sa taas. Right? This is how you trade. Right? Dito kayo sa baba lagi. Right? So, RLC... And then, um, yun, uh, before I continue with my list, yan, puntahin ko muna yung mga questions ninyo. Um, yan, uh, Pochi, uh, Marie, uh, Pochi Tabat, Marie Chris Cruz, yan, Gilen Kando, good morning, Hazel Miranda, good morning, sir, Vita po. Si Vita, we kind of, we kind of missed already the train. Uh, but still, I'm gonna be rec recommending Vita. Malayo pa naman yung resistance niya. So, Vita is already very good to start getting into it. Right? Yesterday, I did recommend Vita already, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, mag-test buy na kayo Vita kasi may support na tayo dito, di ba? Right? So, sana sinunod niyo niyo yun. Look at that. Bumaba ulit. But at that support, it started bouncing and then umangat na, umangat na si Vita. Um, it's still not too late. Maliit lang naman yung climb ni Vita yesterday. So, it's still very... We have a small resistance right here. But I don't think this is gonna hold much. Right. Ang ganda pa rin ni Vita. Overall, Vita is a very good company. So, yan. Pwede na kayong mag-start kay Vita ulit. Right? Um, Joy Lesniana or BSC House Poser. Okay, kaya I'm gonna write those down. Right? Um, yan. Hazel Miranda asked about Vita. So, yan. Recommendation ko si Vita pa rin today. Rico Velasco. It's nights for kay or OPM. Yan. Si OPM kahapon. Ang saya kay OPM kahapon. Diba? I recommended OPM dito sa baba. Always buy it at around 1.110. Uh, right now, it's already at 0.110 again. Kahapon and dito pa yan. Kahapon. And it went up 2 clicks. Right? Nag 0.130. <laughs> Laki ng pera ng mga tao kaapon dahil kay OPM. And now, it's again here. Ayan. Nasa baba na naman siya. You can buy it. Right? Huwag kayong bumili dito sa 1, 120. Dito lang kayo sa 110. Pag makapasok kayo sa 110, then that's good. Right? Huwag nyo nga habulin yan sa taas. That's where OPM. Um, sino nga ba nagtanong nun? Si Joy? Uh, hindi si Joy. Um, si Rico Velasco, yan. And then, kay Or, we're gonna be talking about more about that. Uh, we already talked about that. Sir, STR, please, from Gilen Kando. Or I'm gonna write down STR, some mga questions. STR, and then Bull and Bear, good morning, good day. Uh, Christian Lacaste, FLI. Yan, FLI. I recommended FLI kahapon. Ang ganda na recommendation ko kay FLI kahapon. I did say that most probably it was gonna bounce. Kasi, look at that. Yesterday, that was the long-term support area already. Yan. Sobrang mura na ni FLI. And then, the RSI was already at 245. I mean, 24. A very beautiful RSI already. Wala nang nagbebenta. And then, there it is. That's our confirmation. This is a good time to enter kay 
uh, KFLI, we can use that as the support area by as long as this support holds KFLI. Sobrang mura na ni FLI. Grabe. If you want to check FLI's earnings out, they're a very solid company and ang gaganda ng mga projects na Phil Invest. Excuse me. So, okay na si FLI bilhin. Um, STV Trader, good morning. Sir, now, Tugs, PXP, Primex, WPI. Alright, sulat ko mga yan. Si now, uh, press action lang tayo kay now eh. Will not recommend now for swing traders. So, sulat ko lang mula sila. Daanan ko sila ha. Alright, uh, you're welcome STV, SGM, good morning. Alright, um, Kim Antonius Magat. Asa na yun? Ba't bumaba bigla yung chat room ko? Alright guys, nga pala, before I continue guys, if you wanna support the channel, uh, if you wanna support me, help me, help other newbies, other people who wanna start investing and needs guidance, uh, please do super chat. May super chat dyan sa, ano, sa chat natin. The, just beside the emoji, may super chat option dyan. Any donations will be greatly appreciated and it will go a long way. Also, another way to help me without spending is if you don't have coins.ph account yet uh, please create a coins.ph account use my description i mean use the the link i have on the descrip video uh, description of the video uh, that will help me in return uh, create coins.ph account i will strongly recommend you create a coin coins.ph account so this is not just for plugging but also for you to be ready for the cryptocurrency uh, revolution. I'm already looking at cryptocurrency already. Eh. Nagsa-start na ako sa cryptocurrency. And there's good potential earnings in it. Whenever I see that it will be good to get in already, I'm gonna tell you guys. And it will it will help if you are ready. Coins.ph will allow you to buy Bitcoins, Ethereum um, if you need to. So be prepared. Create na an account using my link. Right. Um, also, if you're looking for an avenue to earn uh, passively, right? earn passive income, let the good traders do the trade for you. Right? Do copy trading. I have a video about copy trading. Check it out. Napakaganda ng copy trading. Iwan nyo lang and you're, you're gonna earn already. Hindi nga lang malaki. Right? Expect around 1%, 2% minsan less than in a month. Then again, it's very good, uh, it's very good uh, passive income. Kasi wala naman kayong ginagawa, di ba? So, check out copy trading. If you want to create an eToro account, please create it using my link below under the description of the video. Right? So, uh, Kim has a good question. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. I am an investor. I have ALI and SMPH. How do I effectively add shares to both on a monthly basis? Is it okay to add anytime as long as you have money regardless of the price? Yes, Kim. Alright, mag full screen muna ako ha. I'm gonna discuss about th this. Alright. So, yes, that's one way of, uh, well, that's one way of earning in, what they call this, in, in stocks. It's called cost averaging, diba? So, anytime you have money, just buy more, uh, just buy more stocks. The same stocks, diba? So, that's one good way of earning. That's called cost averaging. But a more efficient way is if, Mapap if you can watch the market naman, diba? If you can watch the market, whenever you have money, look at the two, right? For example, ALI, SMPH. So, for example, this month, I have 5,000. Tignan ko sino ang mura, right? Sino ang, not their price, but uh, their price action. Sino mas malapit sa support or sino yung nasa baba pa, hindi yung nasa taas, right? For example, ngayon, si ALI and SMPH, pwede akong bumili either of them kasi nasa baba pa naman sila, right? But usually, ganyan ang ginagawa ko. Whenever I have money, I look at my I look at my <clears throat> cost averaging stocks. I have three. Tingnan ko sino mura. Right? Who is near support or sino yung medyo nasa baba, yun yung lalagyan ko. Right? So, that's the beauty of diversification. I have three. The beauty of diversification is that you will have options sino lalagyan mo for this month. Right? For the next month, may pera na naman ako. For example, I have 10,000. I can put it on my cost averaging stock. I'm gonna look at my other stocks. Right? Uh, sino sa tatlo ang medyo mababa pa hindi yung nasa taas na talaga umakyat so sino yung mababa yun yung lalagyan ko sino yung nasa taas also um, sino yung nasa taas hindi ko lalagyan also that's one way the second op uh, hindi siya option second technique you wanna inject in that process if you wanna be more efficient is if you can watch the market 
sino yung nasa taas and it's starting to go down. Sell half of those stocks. Right? Kung sino yung stocks mo ang medyo buma, uh, nasa taas and then starting to go down, sell half or 30% of it. Right? And then, yung pera na yun, wag mo ila, wag mong gagalawin. Wait for that stock to start go, climbing up again and then yung 30% or 50% na binenta mo, um, kuha, pera makukuha mo doon, buy more of that stock. It's a more efficient way of doing cost averaging. It's more complicated than the simple cost averaging, but it's more efficient. Right? If you can put a little bit more time on checking the stock, if medyo mataas na and you think it's gonna start to go down, for example, si SMPH. Hindi uh, si SMPH, yan yung paborito na lahat sa GFC. Ito, ganito. So, I'm gonna share my screen. <clears throat> right, so GFC, meron siyang main uptrend line, di ba? So, you should know how to plot this main uptrend line right here. Right, so GFC, right? So, anytime may pera ako, pag andito yung position ni JFC, malayo sa trend line niya, hindi ko muna siya lalagyan. Diba? Wait for it to hit here and that's where you buy more. Yung mga positions na yan na medyo mataas na, you can sell half and then, yan, pag tungtong niya sa uptrend line niya na naman, nasa baba niya siya, galing siya sa pagbagsak eh. That's when you buy more. Right? So, I hope you get my, my point. But that's a more efficient way of doing cost averaging. Lagyan na ng contrary touch of trading. This is more efficient. So, guys, ang yung pinag-usapan natin ngayon is mainly more onto long term. When the market is already very beautiful, I don't want to miss this opportunity to teach everyone how to really, really get rich into the stock market. This is a very good question, kay Kim, because this is an investor question. Right, Estella Sanchez, good morning. Uh, Gilbert Mojica, I hope I was able to answer your question, Kim. If if meron kang clarifications, let me know. Um, Ted Abricia is asking about MPI. MPI is in one, one of my recommendations today. Right, it's MPI. MPI. Right, so, um, Emmy Rose, sir, si Seb po. Yes, ang baba na ni Seb, di ba? We're gonna talk about that in a while. And hopefully, makakating ka tayo dyan. Um, SSI, MBT, and AGI from Pochi Tabat. Um, Emmy Rose, Santiago is asking about CEB. Right, I'm gonna write this down. SSI, uh, MBT, and AGI. Actually, si MBT na sa recommendations ko ngayon eh. Wait. Um... Joan Cornejo, good morning. Joel Igares, right? pwede bang mumili ka SMPH now? Medyo mataas ni si SMPH eh, but if you're in it for long term, definitely yes. Right? For swing traders naman kasi siniswing ko si uh, I'm guilty of this, siniswing ko si SMPH, right? Uh, kasi I know dito sa support, umakyat siya dito, binenta ko dito, bumaba na naman sa support, I bought more. So if you're swing trader, malapit-lapit ka na sa resistance, eh. so I'd rather not na lang humabol. But if you're in SMPH for long term, this stock is undervalued. 35 pesos, napaka undervalued ni SMPH. I think the value of this is around 40 pesos, right? Andiyan yung mga andiyan yung presyo ngayon ni SMPH. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to check again the researchers, yung mga fair value nila for SMPH. I haven't checked that in a while, but I think it's the fair value is around this area right here. So mura pa si SMPH. This is very good for for uh for those who are into will will want to in, to get into the stock for long term. Right, that's for Joel Garis. Uh, Rom Ma Madronero, good morning then. Chris 18. Um, Pochitabat, DMC Sir Lord. Yeah, DMC is in my recommendation yesterday. Right, good job sa mga pumasok kay DMC. Ang ganda ng bounce. Right, dalawang araw. Ay, hindi lang dalawang araw. Ay, DMC is in, has been in my list for how many days nung nag-hit na siya ng support area niya, ba? So we've been discussing about DMC. Good job sa mga pumasok kay DMC kahapon. Ang laki ng panalo nila. Huwag nyo nahabulin yan kasi malapit na naman ang resistance. Yan yung sinasabi ko lagi. Be patient sa baba. Right? Dito pa lang sa baba, sinasabi ko na na mag-start na kayo mag-test buy and then ayan na. Diba? Umakit na siya. And now it's already near resistance. Wag na wag kayong humabol sa missed opportunities din nyo. This is a missed opportunity right here. Nung umakit na yan siya, you missed that opportunity. Huwag mo nang hahabulin yan. Your next opportunity is if it does a breakout or goes back down to support. Doon na kayo pumasok. Right? Um, Ron Madronero, Sir Insights about BSC. Um, BSC is in my list. 
Nasa, nasa lista ko ba si BSC? Yes. Um, BSC, good for intraday. Yan, kakadiscuss na natin kanina. There's an intraday potential kay BSC. Wag na for swing traders. Reynald Omix Oximoso. Good morning, Ron David. Good morning then Jasmine Victoria. Good morning, Sir BDO and Webpo. Yan, so Web. We're gonna be talking about blue chips a lot more today. And Web is holding its support. It's still very good. Right? Web is napakamura na ni Web. Sobrang mura na ni Web. So, it's... It's a good buy kay Web. Buy as long as the support holds BDO. Yan. BDO has that bounce yesterday. I want one more confirmation kay BDO before nyo pasukin. Right? Um, konting ingat pa kay BDO. Right? So, um, yan. I'll just, I'm just gonna go through your uh, messages. Annie Lin, good morning. ATN and AGI. ATN, yan. AGI, ang ganda na ng presyo ni AGI. Eh? But I'm gonna go to ATN first. Yun. ATN, we have so solid support here already. Three times it's been hit, right? And yeah, you can test buy here. Magandang test buy yan kay ATN. Good find. Very good find, Aniline. So, I'm gonna be writing ATN then sa recommendations ko. And hindi ko napansin si ATN. Eh, support na pala. Um, next is AGI. And I wanna talk about AGI because one of my mentors, and isa sa mga nagtuturo and supervising me really, um, told me that pangit si AGI, even if ang ganda ng position niya, Meron na siyang bounce dito. Kaso nga lang daw, mabagal talaga si AGI. Because the owners, um, this is not verified news, okay? Um, ito lang yung sinabi sa akin. Um, owners really don't care if their stocks go up or down, right? So, mabagal daw gumalaw si AGI. But then again, look at this position right here. We have a support right here. Um, RSI, looking very good. The last time this happened, this, uh, it climbed like that. Um, so, AGI is very undervalued. Yun lang gusto ko kay AGI. Very undervalued. I'm not sure about that that news na sinabi ng mentor ko. There might be something there na maganda. I mean, there might be some sort of truth there. But technical analysis wise, ang ganda na ng posisyon na ito. AGI is very undervalued. Right? One of the most undervalued stock even si AGI. So, yes. Technical analysis wise, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend AGI. Pwede kayo mag-test buy dyan. Ang ganda ng position na yan. Buy as long as the support holds. Pwede naman kayo mag-cut loss below that support. Um, asa na yun? Grace Rio. Good morning. Romeo Cruz. Good morning then. Good day. Raquel Necess uh, Necessito. Good morning. MRC po. Sir Lloyd, MRC is in one of my recommendations today. So, punta muna ako sa recommendations ko. Last muna si Bro Bruno Cla Cla Clown. So, I'm gonna go... Ayan, kakadiscuss na natin kay MRC kanina. So, another set of recommendations for today. BRN, andyan pa rin yan. Hindi gumagilaw. Just be patient. Andyan pa rin tayo sa support. It's still very solid. CEI. And CEI. And still holding that support. We already recommended CEI yesterday. And the support is holding. So, mag-abang na kayo. Uh, Mag-test buy na kayo dyan. While the support is holding. Uh... Vita is in my recommendation today. Pwede pang habulin si Vita. MPI is in my recommendation today. Look at that. MPI, I recommended MPI kahapon because it's already at the support area. Um, I was hoping it was, it will bounce already and it did. Nag-bounce na si MPI. Kaya andyan na si MPI. AC, Ayala Corporation. Ang bounce ni Ayala Corp. We have that, we have this engulfing right here. This is a good sign. Malayo-layo pa resistance. So, pwede nyo pasukin si AC. Um, ALI, same with Ayala Land Corp uh, Ayala Land Incorporated and two recommend uh, two confirmation bounces very good Ito isa sa paborito ko si VLL mm. VLL right here we did say VLL might bounce anytime soon and nag bounce na nga siya yesterday so this is a confirmation of the support the best position is the support right here pero kung hindi na kung hindi na babagsak yan maganda pa rin yung position ng VLL malayo-layo pa yung resistance VLL uipon na kaya diyan ATN ayan si ATN na nasulat na natin yan so that was recommended by one of the viewers si ATN kanina all right so hinaan ko lang ang bosses ko ah. um banks ang daming magagandang position sa banks today BPI sorry BPI. Ayan na si BPI. Ayan na yung bounce ni BPI. It's an engulfing candlestick. That's a solid bounce kay BPI yesterday. RSI was very low yesterday. So, ang ganda na nung inabangan natin yun. And then, we have that support right there. 
and BPI is good to get in. If you can bargain for a bit, mas maganda around 87, 86, it, between 86, 87. Kung bumaba pa yan dyan, ang ganda ng position yan. Pwede na kayong mag, uh, mag-test buy niyan. Alright, so BPI. Next is MBT, Metro Bank. Yan. MBT is still holding that support, uh, buy as long that support holds. And mura, mura na si MBT. Sobrang mura na niyan actually. East West, very undervalued already. And the support is holding buy as long as that support holds. Meron na tayong sideways movement kay E. W right so um we have a support right here uh buy as long as that support holds right there mm. uh yun yung sa banks right um others na mga i recommend ko is EMP and yes. EMP is still holding strong very low risk uh kailangan niyo lang ng patience dito ilang araw na to naglalaro diyan so that's a very stable price kay EMP pag pumutok yan ay nako grabe ang galaw niyan Right, EMP Mark. Ayan, si Mark na maraming pinasak uh, maraming pusong sinaktan si Mark. I'm gonna discuss about Mark. Yes, we did say that Mark has an intraday potential kahapon. Ito yung sinasabi ko lagi. Mark did a breakout right here. So if that breakout holds, that's your entry point, ba? Meron kayong pwede kayong mag-cut loss diyan. But look at that. Ano yung paborito kong MA, which is MA20. Look at that kapon. Si Mark bumagsak after the breakout. Where did it bounce? MA20. And then pa rin. And then resumed there. So Mark has good intraday potential. Pwede yung pasukin si Mark. Um, I want you guys to get near uh, this support, uh, resistance right here. Ito yung resistance niya. The last, uh, last before siya nag-breakout. Eh. So that's your entry point right there. Hopefully hindi na siya bumagsak sa MA20. If it goes down and then hindi pa nagbabounce, huwag nyo muna pasukin. So if it goes down, that's good kasi pwede kayo mag-abang sa MA20. Look at that. MA20 bounce kahapon na ganda. You can, pwede nyo abangan ulit yan sa MA20. Pwede pa itong bumaba ulit today and then if it starts bouncing at this blue line right here, you can test by there. Pwede naman kayo mag-cut loss anytime. But, then again, this is already a good position kay Mark. Right? Isa yan sa recommendation ko. Hopefully, this holds. Right? And abangan nyo lang kung saan siya talaga mag-bounce. Uh, Mark, then CLC. Ayan, si CLC is in my recommendation again today. Bakit? And support is still holding kay CLC. This is a very good support for kay, kay CLC. Very solid support for CLC. So, start accumulating there as long as the support holds. Right, so before I continue sa mga recommendations ko, punta ako sa mga questions ninyo. Time check is 8.53. Ay, 8.53. It's already 8.53. So, unahin ko yung main topic na ngayon. What are my long-term picks for the investors out there? Right? Guys, sa long-term picks ito, even if I'm a trader, uh, sorry about that, even if I'm a trader, ayusin ko lang. Even if I'm a trader, I still make sure I have blue chips. I still make sure I have uh, I have cost averaging. Nagko-cost averaging pa rin ako. That's the virtue of saving. Yeah, this it will really make you rich. The virtue of saving, powered with investing. So even even if may pera na kayo sa loob ng stock market, I know you're still earning some jobs ninyo. You still we you will still have uh, you still have savings, and then put it in a blue chip. Right, guys, if you wanna get rich, kung meron na kayo 100,000 stock market, that won't be enough to make you a millionaire. You have to make investment a habit. So may even if you're trading already, still have cost averaging if you really want to be, be rich right that's the price of becoming rich if you're willing to pay for that price yeah then you are going to be rich right so yun what are my top picks for long term stocks number 1 is ALI 5 to 10 years on projection natin yan kay ALI ALI is a very solid company right you don't uh, you ALI is even expanding overseas ganyan kalakas si ALI so ALI in the coming days are still gonna be very good. It's a very good at a very good position. ALI will make you rich. Look at that. Look at that projection for how many years. And then expect for that movement to continue. Right? Yung uh, projectile na yan, yung akyat na yan ni ALI. Expect for it to continue. ALI is a very solid company. Number two, write this down, okay? ALI. And for also, for those, um, para whenever you want to review the video, I'm going to be posting the long-term stocks 
I will be discussing here on the description of the video. First is ALI. Next is BDO. If gusto nyong umaman, mag-cost averaging kayo sa mga stock na ito. BDO. This, will, this company will make you rich, right? ALI, BDO, JFC, of course. Ang paborito ng mga tao. JFC has never failed. Uh, JFC has never failed investors, right? Yes, nagpo-pullback siya. But overall, JFC is just going up. And right now, JFC is very aggressive in expanding abroad. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas. Because they've already conquered Philippines and they're starting to conquer ulit. Uh, they're starting to conquer abroad and mind you this is a very good company right kung ano yung effect niya sa Philippines hindi pa natitikman ng buong mundo si JFC they're gonna see how happy that B is and it will conquer the world right so we, before that happens be there already kay JFC if you wanna be rich um, SM isa sa mga gusto kong pag-ipunan ninyo si SM look at that movement kay SM be part of this people who got rich because because of SM. Right? Ang ganda na. This is our opportunity na nag-pull back siya. Right? SM is in one of my recommendations. You wanna be rich, go with SM. URC then. Si URC din naman. And kasi medyo mababa siya ngayon. Which is very good. Kasi dati overpriced siya. Ngayon, it's going down to this level right here. Actually, URC, rinerecommend ko na nga yan. Eh. Ang dami nang kumita kay URC. Kahit maliit lang. I'm glad na kumita na kay kay URC. Right? So, URC is at a very good price already. So, URC. Ayan. Pwede nyo pasukin yan. If you wanna be rich with URC. Ayan. Ang ganda ng, ang ganda ng galaw ni URC. Um, ALI. Definitely ALI. Ah, nadoble ko na pala si ALI. Sorry about that. Isa pa si FGEN. Ayan. FGEN is a good company to invest in. Right? Very undervalued si FGEN. Next is Metro Bank, MBT. Yan. Isa sa pwede nyong pagkakitaan si MBT. Nag sideways nga lang siya lately. But then again, if this, uh, if the, uh, MBT, uh, MBT is a good company. Right? Anytime soon, this is gonna go up again. So MBT, isa yan sa pwede nyong pagkakitaan. MPI, very good projects, very good background already. They have already solidified there. Uh, what do you call this? Yung status nila for giving out good services, good pro, I mean, ano yan, um, good results. Right? So, MPI. So, definitely, MPI will have more uh, more uh, projects coming soon. MPI will be a good company to get into. Si SM tsaka SMPH. Siyempre, ang paborito kong SMPH. I will not let go of my SMPH. Right? Ang laki na nang binigay ni SMPH sa akin. And I'll, const I'll continue sharing this opportunity, SMPH, guys. If you want to be rich, long-term use SMPH. Right? Five to ten years from now, you're going to be rich with SMPH. Right? So, those are my picks for long-term. ALI, BDO, JFC, SM, URC, FGEN, MBT, MPI, and SMPH. Definitely invest in these companies. Again, guys, long-term yan, ha? So, don't expect short, uh, um, malalaking kita short term. Yung sa mga nagsiswing trade, yan, this movement right here kay SMPH, uh, this movement right here kay SMPH, this is a good opportunity right here. Yan, kaya nagsiswing trade ako kay SMPH. For the meantime, kasi ang ganda ng opportunity, sobrang ganda ng presyo niya. Right? Pero hindi ko binabenta lahat. I just sell half and then my other half, yun, pinaparide ko lang yan. Hinahayaan ko lang. On the other half lang ang sinaswing trade ko kay SMPH. Those are my list. Right? I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna post it sa, for your convenience, I'm gonna post it sa chat room natin. Right there. So, before maubos yung oras natin. Uh, so, I'm gonna go to your questions now. Sana ma, ano ko pa ito lahat. FNI, yan, we discussed about S FNI, SMC. Let's look at SMC. May support na ba si SMC? Ayan, si SMC nagbabounce na pala eh. Right. I did not see this. SMP, SMC, I'm gonna be putting SMC sa recommendations ko today. Na-lose na track ako kay SMC. So, SMC is definitely very good. We have a confirmation right there. Um, or, and we discussed about or already, ISM and IRC. May intraday potentials dyan. We already discussed about them. A and I. Ito si A and I. <laughs> So, ANI is sitting at that area right there. Right? Malapit na siya sa breakout area niya. So, wait for ANI to break out before you get in. 
Kasi kung hindi nyo, hindi pa kayo nakapasok kay FA and I, that's your opportunity to get in. Kasi malit ang risk nyo. Or either that, if it really fails to break out, antayin nyo kay MA20. The best position kay and I was right here. Right? But, ayan. Uh, and I wait for A. Breakout. Uh, ECP. Ayan. ECP. May intraday potential si ECP. Discussed about that already. IDC. It's in one of my recommendations. Hindi pa rin nawawala si IDC kasi hindi pa siya gumagalaw. Right? IDC is still at that support area. Right. So buy as long as that support holds. Ilang araw ko nang re-recommend si IDC kasi andiyan na yung sa support niya. Solid na yung support na yan. Um with IDC, uh, sinasama ko si IDC si Wilcon. They have similar positions right there. We have support right there. So buy as long as, as that support holds. Um Fen. Right. We have a support right here. Right kahapon, recommended Fen ang ganda ng bounce ni Fen from its bottom part. Yan, kumita kay kay Fen, right? Still at support area, buy as long as that support holds kay Fen. Right? So, those were my recommendations. Yan, may questions tayo about um, MAH. Yan, so MAH, recommended MAH yesterday because it's it was near MA20 and sa mga naniwala sa akin, good job sa inyo. Look at that bounce kay MAH. Bakit naglalag ang PC ko when it comes to MAH? Lagi siya naglalag when it comes to MAH. Anyways, yes, MAH. Still, definitely, may magandang potential pa rin kay MAH. Just uh, cut loss below the MA20 line. Try ko dito. And, and so, we have that MA20 right there. Pwede kayo mag-test by just cut loss below MA20. And that's where MAH. Um, asa na tayo? May nagtanong about MAH. BSC, SBS. Yan. Si SBS... Right here, time check, 9.02. We still have 10 minutes more. Right. SBS, still recommending SBS kasi andyan pa rin yung, andyan pa rin yung support niya. Right. We have that support right there and it's a higher low. So, maganda si SBS. It's in one of my recommendations still. Um, uh, Bloom, ayan. someone asked about Bloom. This is yung for Bloom. Uh, right there. Bloom has a bounce. Hindi pa siya solid na bounce talaga. So, I can't say if this is Bloom's bounce already. Right? Mer meron pa tayong, andito pa yung support niya eh. Baka bumaba pa to ng konti dito eh. So, I'd wa I, wa I want to wait for another confirmation kay Bloom bago pumasok. But definitely, watch this intraday. Kasi pag nagtuloy-tuloy yung bounce na yun, pasokin yun na. Right? But I just can't say for sure if magtuloy-tuloy ito ngayon or hindi kasi nandiyan pa yung support niya sa baba. So, baka bumaba yan. So, pag bumaba yan, pwede yung bilhin dito sa baba pag nag-bounce na. Or if magtuloy-tuloy ito today, then you can buy. Right? That's how you do this kinds of position. Panoorin yung intraday. Definitely prepare for it. Next one is um, ICT. Ayan, si ICT. Ang ganda pa rin na position ni ICT. Hindi gumagalaw eh. Right, right there. ICT ng Doji. I'm, st I'm still hesitant about ICT but there is this support right here which is good. Right? Ang, go ang volume ni ICT yesterday was looking good. Right? Nag Doji siya. Good volume. So yes, ICT is looking good. Uh, I just want, before I really want to place it in my official watch list, I want one more uh, one more confirmation. Isulat ko si ICT. Wait for one more confirmation. Right. We have a support right there already for ICT. ICT is looking good. Good job sa so nagtanong niya. Or, I already discussed that. BSC already discussed that. House. Ayan si House. Ayan. Kasama, magkasama ito sila ni IDC. Eh. House. Right here. House as a support. Wow, that's good. Hindi ko napansin to. House as a support. Definitely uh, recommending House with IDC. Because it's already at support right here. I believe that support will hold. Right? Uh, someone asked if my disclosure kay PTNT today. Let's check out. Kasi, let's check it out. If my disclosure kay PTNT today. Ayun, may, may disclosure si PTNT today. Let's discuss this, okay? I wanna check this out. May, anyways, like legal... Uh, Proceedings pa naman ito eh. Right. Good job. Uh, thank you sa nag-alarm sa akin. Um, may, ano, tingnan ko. Da, ha? 
uh, the, the Supreme Court dismissed the appeal of PTNT questioning the decision of the Court of Appeals. The CA decision reversed the order dated April 1 issued by the Rehabilitation Court approving the rehabilitation plan of PTNT. Uh, the dismissal of the appeal by the Supreme Court is based on the alleged failure of PTNT to file appeal on time. PTNT filed a motion of reconsideration arguing that the appeal was actually filed on time as evidenced by certification issued by the Philippines Postal Corporation. The motion of reconsideration of PTT is still pending with Supreme Court. And medyo bad news kay PTNT. Right? It's not uh, they won't be allowed to uh, for rehabilitation naman yun eh. I'm gonna I'm gonna read more about that but don't worry this is not for uh, this is not for hindi pa lalabas si PTNT today Whew. nabigla ako dun akala ko lalabas na si PTNT today so good news Ayan, false alarm lang uh, hindi pa lalabas si PTNT but the news is kind of bad and they are appealing their case for that I'm gonna make a review about that case right? titingin ko yung case na yan ngayon um STR. Maraming na ipit kay STR. So, I wanna discuss about STR. STR. Pwede na naman pasukin. <laughs> Kasi nasa support na naman. Just be, please be careful kung hahabol kayo dyan sa taas. Okay? Yun ang sinasabi ko. We have a review about the third telco. Relax. Right? Um, STR is being hyped to be the third telco. I don't think they will be the third telco. But then again, ang problema nito is Star Malls, eh, di ba? Um, there's a conspiracy behind it. I want to discuss that. Star Malls is, yun yung malls ni Villar. But right now, um, ang mga malls nila, yung mga bagong malls nila, ginagawa, tinatawag nila na Vista Malls. Right? Hindi na nila tinatawag na Star Malls. So there's something behind that. Kaya, kaya nga hinahype si, Star, uh, si STR for the one. Baka, baka ito yung gawin nilang ano, kay Stream Tech. Eh. Um, there's, no, uh, there's nothing sure about that. So, I don't want you guys to speculate. But technical analysis wise, si STR nasa support na. Pwede nyo pasukin. Pero dito sa baba, please, dito kayo sa baba. Huwag yung sa taas. Kasi ang daming humabol kay STR kahapon. Yan tuloy, ang daming naipit. Right? So, STR is in a good position again. It's at support. Pwede kayo pumili dyan. Wait, I'm gonna give you time para maka-prepare sa market. So, we're, we're gonna stop as soon as um, 9.15 the latest. Para may 15 minutes kayo makapag-prepare sa market. Si Nao Corporation, yan, na-hit niya na naman yung resistance niya. So, bumabagsak siya. Not good for getting in as of the moment. Iwas muna kayo kay Nao. Right? I recommended Nao at around this area right here. Right? Dapat dito kayo pumasok noon. If pumasok kayo dito, ang laki na ng pera niyo sana kahapon. Right? Don't get in now for betting. Alright? Get, pumapasok ako kay now kasi there's potential there. Kasi ang, ang daming nag, nagkakagusto kay now. So, there's potential movement there. It's good potential for swing trades. But then again, if you're a swing trade, you have to get, if you're a swing trader, you have to get in at the best position. The best position is this support right here. Yung mga pumasok kahapon, Nasa resistance na pumasok. Where is the technical analysis there? Please be. Ayan, please be uh, responsible in your trading. Bakit kayo pumasok dyan sa taas? Diba? Don't do that. So, if papasok kayo now, abangan nyo naman ulit dito sa baba. Right? So, that don't get in now as of the moment. Tags. Yan, si Tags. We have a solid support. We have two confirmation na kay Tags. This is good for Tags. Right? Pwede na kayo mag-test by kay Tags. I'm gonna be putting Tags in the recommendations for today. Right? In a while, mag-review, uh, mag uh, ipopost ko na ang review ko sa chat room natin and I'm gonna be posting it sa page Billionaires Club. Uh, stock Market Daily Tips. Right? Tags PXP. Uh, look, let's look at PXP. PXP is holding that support. That's good. That's a good sign kay PXP. But then again, PXP is a speculative stock. Somehow, downtrend pa siya. I, can, I don't see the downtrend being broken as of the, for the meantime. Right, look at the downtrend right here. Sorry. Right here. 
So, may downtrend tayo kay PXP. So, hindi pa naman nabibreak yung downtrend niya. So, I will not recommend PXP for the meantime. This is a speculative stock. Delikado si PXP. So, I'm not recommending PXP. Primex. Kamusta kayo si Primex? Yan, consolidating pa rin. So, I'd, I really wanna wait for it at MA20. But then again, anytime soon, pwede na yan pumutok si Primex. Kasi it's holding naman eh. Let's see how much your risk is if pumasok kayo pay Primex. Medyo mataas pa, so I'd rather not get in that to risk. I'd rather wait for it to, I mean, 20 or wait for it to do a breakout. So, I'm not recommending Primex for the meantime. WPI, Waterfront. Ayan. Uh, still on a downtrend. Uh, don't see the reversal. So, delikado pa si WPI. I want it to make a solid support. We have one support right here. I'd rather wait for it here. Kasi hindi pa stable si WPI. I'm not gonna recommend WPI for the meantime. MPI, we already discussed about that. CEB, ito isa sa mag magaganda. Kasi sobrang undervalued na si CEB. Right, CEB is holding that uh, support, uh, holding this right here. Ganda na ng RSI. It's already holding right there. So, this is your chance to try to get in that stock. Right, ang ganda ng stock na yan. So, alam, downtrend pa siya. Then again, this is already very cheap for CEB. We have this right here. Pwede ka mag-test by dito if you really want CEB. I don't, I will not recommend CEB for the meantime. I'd rather wait for a strong confirmation. But this right here, this this just confirmed the support. RSI is already looking good. Wala na nagbibenta halos. So, that can be a good sign for CEB. But I don't want to recommend CEB kasi delikado yan for the newbies especially. So, Konting patience lang kay CEB, SSI. Can be wrong. Pwede na, pwede na yun umakyat ulit. Right. There's that sign naman kasi. Eh. So, SSI. Ayan. Still going down. Pabagsak pa siya. I'd rather wait for a confirmation muna. RSI is already looking good. So, I'm gonna be putting SSI on my watch list. Anytime soon, pwede na mag -bounce. MBT and AGI we already discussed about that. So, I'm gonna be placing my... Um, tapusin ko lang yung ano ko. Tapusin ko lang yung watch list ko. Si NRCP. Buy if support holds. And si NRCP, ang ganda ng support ni NRCP. And we have a support right there. Uh, FLI, uh, NRCP is one of my recommendations for long term. FLI, yan, we discussed about that. Uh, I said na mabounce yan kahapon and it did. And also with JGS, look at that. Recommended JGS yesterday and I'm still gonna be recommending it now kasi malaya pa yung support. And good job sa mga pumasok kay JGS kahapon. Did recommend that. Uh, it was it's good when you're right right bloom right recommending bloom I want to wait for one more rec uh, one more uh, one more bounce pero this is already looking good for bloom ang ganda na ng position ng bloom na yan right we're already at this support right here so i'm putting bloom on my recommendation ssi then opm kasi nasa 110 na naman si opm uh mark wait for a breakout right chp and nas nasali natin si chp and the CHB is holding its support kasi and it's already sideways. This is starting to form a rounded bottom right here. So, abangan natin yan sa si CHB na yan. Pwede na yan. Malapit na mahinog sa si CHB. It's already stabilizing. Right? It's already stab stabilizing. Yung pangalawang downtrend niya na break niya niya. So, CHB is already stabilizing by as long as this support holds. Right? So, sobrang mura na na CHP. And actually, CHP is already undervalued. So, CHP, I'm recommending CHP. So, that's my list for today. Uh, na chat ko na si Long Term. Uh, for Intra, I'm gonna lagay ko sa chat room. Right there. And then, hatiin ko lang ito ng dalawa. So, these are the... Ang daming gandang positions. I'm sorry if medyo marami yung recommendations natin lately kasi ang daming nasa support na ng mga stocks. Right, so tuloy ko lang yan. So, yan, nasa chat room yung list natin. So, I want you guys to check it out, okay? Um, pili kayo ng mga nagugustuhan nyo but I already discussed ano yung talagang mga gusto ko. Just a review, ang mga paborito ko dyan for today is FNI uh, APX ay wag, wala pala si FNI please remove FNI I remove FNI kasi sa uh, magsa-stock offer sila eh. delikado yan so APX MRC MEG and RLC because these stocks are undervalued 
Right? But then again, those every one of those are good. Right? Next is the banks, BPI, MBT, and East West. Yun yung mga paborito ko for today. Um, second line, ng paborito ko, if you wanna check it out, BRN, CEI, Vita, MPI, AC, ALI, VLL, ATN, and SMC. Yun yung mga nasa mga top na nagugustuhan ko talaga. So definitely check it out. Right? So, yun. Uh, I went through the questions. Okay, puntahan ko ulit yung questions ninyo. Uh, Uh, Melo, Melo, JFC, kamusta si JFC? Ang ganda na ng presyo ni JFC, right? Ang ganda ng presyo ni JFC, we're seeing reversal signs right here. But I think magda-downtrend pa ito si JFC, so I'm not recommending JFC as of the moment. I'm gonna check out if maho- uh, ma-hold ni JFC yung, ano, yung galaw na yan. I think JFC is gonna do a downtrend for the meantime. So, iwasan ko muna si JFC. But for long term, definitely JFC is already a good price. EBS, yes, uh, GT cap. Uh, nga pala guys, before I continue, ayan, 9.15 na. Uh, if you wanna help me out, please don't forget to do the super chat or you can do, um, create a coins.ph account. That is free. Be ready for the cryptocurrency revolution. If you're looking for a good way to uh, have passive income, check out co- uh, copy trading ni eToro. Create an eToro account using my link. That will also help me in return. So, it's already 9.15. I'm gonna, uh, last three questions na lang. EBS, ES, uh, GTCAP. Si GTCAP, hindi nang bagsak. Alright, um, natatakot ako sa mga itong mga downtrend na, but GTCAP is forming this bounce right here. Nags-stabilize siya dito. I'm not recommending GTCAP as of the moment kasi downturn pa naman siya. I want GTCAP to stop its downturn for the meantime. Uh, lakas ng downturn ni GTCAP eh. Kaya natatakot ako kay GTCAP eh. I want to see a solid reversal sign muna before getting in kay GTCAP. So, hindi ko muna isusulat si GTCAP. I will want to watch GTCAP. Lagay ko si GTCAP sa watch list ko. Si GTCAP I'm gonna put that in my watch list for the meantime. Abangan ko yan. Uh, Limbo kay GG. Uh, Ro- Raque, Raquel, necessito. Sir, yung angat ng BPI tuloy-tuloy na kaya yon Yung MBT po, bababa pa. I don't think si MBT bababa pa yan. Sobrang mura na yan. But I could be wrong. But don't worry about MBT. That's a solid company. You can always, and tsaka kay BPI, you can always uh, average down. Yeah, siya nga pala guys. I still have a workshop available on July. Uh, the dates are <clears throat> July 7 and 8, Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 3 p.m. If you want to, <clears throat> if you want a more in-depth coaching, mas diretsa ang coaching with me, uh, send me a message if you're interested sa workshop ko. You can check the reviews sa Facebook page ko. If you wanna know how good the workshop is, check the reviews sa Facebook page ko. Uh, you'll see the reviews there ng mga tao about the workshop. Right? Uh, Grace Rio, kung hindi po ako nagkamali, naalala ko ba sabi nyo kahapon kapag nag-close si Vita above the lower Bollinger Band, it's a good sign. As lang po if it's a confirmation of a trend reversal. Yes, that's why I'm recommending Vita today, Grace Rio. Right, Emmy Rose, hi Sir Seb, MBT po. Seb is, yan, linagay ko si Seb sa watch list ko. I want to wait for one more rec- uh, one more confirmation kay Seb. MBT, okay na si MBT. Face, good morning. Emerson Gallon, Vol and Fen, sir. Fen is in my recommendation. Si Vulcan, eh, medyo mataas eh, right? Um, there's intraday potential kay Vulcan. But I don't want to recommend Vulcan for the meantime. We have a resistance right there and then humihina siya dito eh. That's a lower high. So meaning, nawawala yung momentum niya. Um, Bollinger Band is showing you that it's starting to stabilize. So, most probably magsa sideways ito before going down maybe. Most probably, I'll wait for it to May 20 and see what happens from there. So, kaya hindi ko parin na-recommend si Vulcan. You can check it out for intraday. Um, Joshua James, sir, Ion po ba? Engulfing siya. Uy, hindi ko napanood si Ion. Ha? I haven't seen Ion today. Yan, Ion. Engulfing. Right, very good. Thank you for that. Joshua, I'm adding Ion sa list. Alright. Ang ganda ni Ion. Kahapon pala ito natin tinitingnan eh. Kung mag-bounce si Ion, yan. This is Elliot Waves. Right? These are the Elliot Waves. And we have a higher bounce kay Ion. Nag-trade ba si Ion kahapon? 28 tayo. Yes, nag-trade. Yan. This is, this is a higher low bounce. This is a good this is a good sign for for Ion. Right? 
Ion, this is the confirmation you're looking for. I'm gonna place Ion sa papasukan nyo today. Look at Ion today, okay? Uh, actually, ang ganda ni Ion. So, I'll put Ion here. So, Ion guys, lagay nyo sa list nyo for today. Pag nag-bullish yan today, pasukin nyo na. Alright, test by lang, alright? Um, Joseph Magsino, good morning. Annette, good morning coach. IRC please, we talked about IRC. And we only have a few minutes left. And 9.20 na. Let's say IRC, may intraday potential, not good for, uh, what do you call this? Not good for swing trading. Good AM, sir. Uh, wing, wing tech. Good morning, sir. How about STR? What are your thoughts? Yeah, and STR is already at the support. So, pwede nyo na mag-test by ka STR. Uh, blue chips, sir. And I did mention that already. Kaloy, 62. Good morning. FLI, please. FLI is good to buy. IDC is still good to buy. AGI, Technical analysis wise, good to buy naman siya. So, go for AGI. Test buy lang. Yama Solution, good morning Sir Lloyd. SSI po. Uh, I did, I th did we talk about, did we talk about SSI? Yan. SSI, wait for confirmation na muna. Uh, yan. ECP, Makano po, buy it sa workshop. Uh, Geoffrey, send me a message sa Facebook ko. Right, but, uh, I know you are in the chat room also. Yes, nga pala guys. If you wanna join the chat room, download Discord and get uh use the link on the video description and it's almost 9 30. <laughs> uh sir a uh, recap for the discussion today so i paste call it and recap for uh last time long term it here it is and tapos na tayo guys i'm just doing a recap All right uh, for intraday and there's intraday potential in these stocks and then ito yung mga mga gusto ko Ang, ang daming gagandang positions ngayon guys. Sobrang baba ng mga presyo ng mga stocks. Uh, August, I'm planning a seminar in August sa Manila. Right? So, I'm not sure if Muntinlupa malapit ba sa Makati. Usually, nasa Ma I think Makati ako makakapwesto ulit. It's either Makati or sa PSE building ulit. Right? So, yes, that's it for today. Um, guys, don't forget, if you get in, don't go all in. Mag-test buys lang kayo, right? Uh, these recommendations I'm doing has, uh, wala tong guarantees eh. Um, but I'm showing you the very good potential stocks. Uh, especially yung mga for long term. I want you guys to start a long term plan for stocks. If you really want to get rich into stock market. Right? So, that's it for today. I'm gonna leave the last 10 minutes in you to prepare for the market. Once again, happy trading. Let's get rich together. See you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. Yes, uh, don't forget, yung coins.ph, gumawa kayo ng coins.ph, be ready for the crypto uh, revolution. Um, definitely, we're gonna be discussing in the future about crypto. So, I want you guys to prepare. You can buy bitcoins using coins.ph. Just be prepared. You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. Ingat kayo. Bye-bye. Thanks, Lime. Thank you, Edsel. Bye-bye, everyone.